Hello everyone and welcome to my newest video for my season of Demon Hunter in Diablo 3. In this video I would like to talk about, about all the things that I've changed on my character. I didn't record it much because I tried to level up and gear up my character. I got pretty good boost for the damage because I made it all by pretty high dexterity build and I've collected the Marauder set I have 5 pieces but I mean 4 pieces I'm sorry but I have this ring of roll grandeur and this reduces the number of items that I need to set bonus by one. So if I had a set with five items, I will use the bonus from the set for six items and stuff like that. I got this pretty much perfect Rondor Rundles like it amulet and it's with but I didn't reroll anything on this amulet it's with perfect set just like they dropped it just the dexterity a little low the maximum is 75 and I have 646 dexterity but I want to make a socket on this because I think I will I don't know where this on my character like forever I have dual weapon build and on my main head I have this down weapon with a bonus holy damage and on my other I have Kumar ten lip with bonus dexterity damage I have all these gems to increase critical because as you know when you suck it gem for the critical damage your damage is boosting like a lot and my amulet gives me critical damage increased by 100% and it's really much I mean if I put that away I have 75,000 damage but it's okay so let's talk about about my skills I pretty much got this build on my own just for level up when I will get the full marauder set I will make it completely I just used my primary is a vasive fire well focus cold damage my secondary is rapid fire with frost shots and then I have Val with tumble my companion with uh, wolf because the wolf give me 100% attack I have the center with polar station for the cold damage and cluster arrow with maelstrom for my passive skills I have archery, cult of the weak, ambush and awareness lately I've been doing a lot of searching for the treasure goblin as you know they made it at 2.1 and I got the boon of hoarder that's the gem you get when you go to the treasure vial and you finish the boss the drop is 100% it's made to grind a lot of gold for a character and you need a gold when you are high level because the reroll on the stats on the items can be very very expensive so it's okay the reason I play on 
Torment 2 and Torment 3 solo is because I know that I have a high amount of damage but my toughness is really low and I make a good damage but I die really easily so I have to work on that and I'm 124 paragon level so I have to work on my toughness maybe to come to 10 million on or something now let me show you how the grinding for gold is my favorite area is like single really easy map when you have a lot of group monsters perfect place is house of agony and then the whooping hollow also if you wanna search a big map go to northern highlights and that's pretty much on act one that's my main greeting gold and from one run on torment tree you can get like 34 million gold from the full map but if you wanna get a drop bonus you just the gear that have gold bonus and you will have a lot of success for you as you can see from one group of monsters I think I Two hundred thousand gold. Here are a lot of monsters. Sometimes you will ask yourself why you so much gold when you're high level and you get some perfect item in slot, some item that you want to wear all the time so you want something different on the item like some statistic or dexterity or that can defend the damage boost that's mostly the hardest reroll that ever happened to weapon and when you boost the weapon and you reroll all the time the amount of gold that needs to reroll and some other stuff if you need a good higher higher you may want to reroll and just a single one piece like four or five million or so and that's not much when you will get to level 70 it's not too low when you have like 10 million gold and for one roll you make a three million So, oh, this is pretty good. And I got portal for the Rainbow Valley. This is the portal for the experience. I need more hatred to do that. I got. I win for the trigger. Yeah, but can 
hour because I wanted that game so much on my character for the gold I don't know why and I made a decision not to level up just to play it so to hunt for crazy goblin and I killed maybe 200 goblins for those couple of days that I've played and only one drop for the treasure realm that's pretty lucky I can say but you need to stand to one time and you don't have to search for it because the most important thing is the gem that the boss gives you when you level up. Gold. Not a big amount, but it's nice to have. I like the lightning that I made, but I have to level up. We can level up the gym to 100% drop gold from every monster you kill. My gem is right now at level 26 and it's only Enough with this map, let's go to Halls of Agony 2. This is a great map also. So let's kill some monsters. I've read some rumors about the ending season 1 that will happen in December, but I don't know if that's 100% correct and I've made a question on the forums about what will be the benefits from the character that level up on the season because my non-season character have a paragon level 100 I think and this this is 184 so do I have something and I got the answer that there will be some points like some bonuses on Paragon I don't know that will be given to all the players that played seasonal characters with high Paragon level and we will see what will happen I hope that I will get the part 6 from this build, from this set, I'm sorry. And I will make another video with all the 4, four bonuses that the set gives you and my new build. Because that build is perfect with full Marauder set and pets. Also you have a gem that increases the damage that your pets are do it but a lot of monsters out of gold it's really nice the money goes up let's see how much 
400,000. we have here easy experience thank you very much and this is the full map I hope you like this video, I just want to make some update on my character, what I've been doing these couple of days. Also, I will start playing Marvel Heroes 215. I don't know how I'll progress on that game, but I see it kinda fun for playing. So I hope I will get you good feedback about the game and if you have some ideas about a new game that you want me to play just make some suggestions and I'll see what I can do about it. Okay, couple of monsters here. Look this, almost 1 million gold and here is the other, he will drop anything or no. Oh, I got legendary. Let's see what I will get. Oh, that's a plan, Devastator, okay. Okay, so this will be the end of my video. Thanks for watching and leave some feedback for more videos for Diablo 3.